we are about to spend a week doing the van life. Never gonna let you cry, no cry, no cry. Our plan is to spend three days in Toronto, living in a van, like pretty much on the streets. City life. City life. And then three days in the wilderness <laughs> in northern Canada. Each is gonna have its own highlights and struggles. You excited, Kai? Yeah. Van life, baby. This is our home for the next week, Kai. Atlas, come on up. Come on, bud. Hey, this is going to look like a home. It doesn't look like a home? Doesn't look like Luna? But, 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 but where's the table to eat? There's a table here to eat? Whoa. A lot of things like kind of move around so that we can make it look a little different in the day and at night. Mom. What's this? Oh, that's a bed. So this comes My down. Bed? Open this up. You want to open everything up, right? Yeah. Yeah, you super excited? What do you think is in here? So like a... this? Whoa. What? This is the shower. Yeah. The and shower the and, and the toilet. Yeah. Come on. This is. I love this. <laughs> My first thought, too, is like, as soon as I came in here, I'm like, can I live Hello. in something like this? Because, <laughs> you know, we're trying to figure out if we want to live in a van or a short bus. But I guess we'll find out over the next week. Yeah, and I don't want to see you drive it. Oh, I can drive it. Atlas, what do you think? Yeah, high five? Approve? Yeah, you approve. <laughs> I love this everybody. Hello. <laughs> this is so fun. It's time to pack this van up. Starting to feel tight real fast. There's nowhere to put clothes. No hangers, no closet. I think we're good to go. This video is in partnership with Sony Alpha. During this adventure, we'll be showcasing the brand new shotgun mic from Sony, the ECMM1. Audio is a big part of our storytelling. And with this new mic, we're able to customize our audio recording experience. The ECMM1 is packed with a ton of new features, while at the same time being super compact and lightweight. Obviously, it's great that it's cable free and doesn't need a battery, but the biggest change with this mic are the eight different recording modes super directional, unidirectional, omnidirectional, super directional rear, super directional front and rear, super directional front and rear separate, stereo, ultra directional. The magic is in the diamond shaped mic system. Four mic capsules on top allow for versatile recording modes. Now the mic can tell what direction the sound is coming from because of the beam forming technology. It records in analog and digital and also has a noise cut filter and low cut filter. In this video, we're gonna explore van life in the city of Toronto while using the ECM M1 recording modes. We're all packed up, ready to pull out of my parents' driveway and head to Toronto. Atlas, if you hear the panting, Atlas is it's either me or Atlas. <laughs> you nervous there, bud? Okay, we have made it to the big city. We are in Toronto on the West End, and we're going to try and find uh, a good fish and chips place. <laughs> But first, we have to find parking. Yeah, we parked right there on the side of the road. This is actually a good location. This is a very central location, right off Bloor Street near High Park, which is a big, beautiful park in Toronto. I feel like we can park here all night if we wanted to. One hour parking, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday to Saturday. Okay, we actually found parking pretty fast and got lucky and it looks like we can park there overnight. And then we just walked down the street, little Irish pub, so... It had a patio so Atlas could come with us because that's another thing if you're like doing van life with your dog 
and wanting to go eat out. It has to be like a dog friendly place. We can see our van right there. Okay, so we got the inside all set up. Somewhat. Somewhat, <laughs> but look how inconspicuous it is with the doors shut. Can't see anything through the windows. Just pretty nice. Are you excited to sleep in here tonight? Uh-huh. Yeah? We're going to yeah. make this a big bed. More like you. You do it. You sleep here. I sleep there? We all sleep here. No, you inside the camera. Oh. Whoever's watching this video. I just made the bed. I originally thought it was a queen. It's definitely not a queen. It's a double. And because we're in the city tonight, we can't pop up the other bed. Although it is legal to sleep in your vehicle here in Ontario. So we're gonna probably all squeeze into this double bed, which is not ideal. <laughs> Come out of here. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I feel pretty okay, actually. There's a lot of disturbances. Once we have the pop-up and we can sleep up there, and then one person sleeps up there and two people are down here, I think it'll be super cozy. When you're sleeping in a van when one person wakes up, everyone's waking up together. So. I like to move it. I like to move it. And guess who woke up first? Go get some coffee. Literally two minute walk over there. I'll be back. <laughs> nice. What'd you get? Some coffee. More drink. I got Kai mango juice. Ooh. And Actually, I that really well. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto is one of our favorite cities in the world, and it's so fun to explore it while living in a van on the streets. Our next stop is to our old neighborhood when we lived in the city. It's called the Old Mill, and it's nestled alongside the Humber River. It's not uncommon to see deer here, and the parking is free. It's a little slice of nature in a big city, so our daughter can burn some much needed energy. We're in a place called Old Mill, and this is where C and I lived before we bought Luna, like right before we bought Luna. And it was a really hard place to leave because it's definitely my favorite area in the city. It's a slice of nature in within a busy city, so it doesn't even feel like you're living in Toronto. And you got the Humber River. It leads into Lake Ontario. And we've seen deer here many times. You can hear coyote at night. It's pretty beautiful. So I want to tell you a story about this place, but actually first, before I tell you, I'm going to change the setting of the, the microphone so that it's more directional and you can hear just my voice and less of the surrounding noises such as the waterfall, which I'm going to tell you about. So, this one's... I'm also going to change to a noise cancelling filter and that should be way better. Now I can tell you my story. So, since we used to live here, we would come here in September when the salmon would be swimming upstream and would actually make it to that little waterfall and try to jump over the waterfall and a lot of the times they'd be failing and failing and some would make it and some just would keep trying but it was super cool to see them do it and they're trying to you know swim up river so that they can lay their eggs that's what they do at that time of year and it was just neat to not just like witness that but witness it in the city of Toronto. Toronto has a lot to offer and our next stop is one of our favorite places for delicious snacks. Navigating the city in a van is easier than we expected, but parking is always an issue in this city, especially around Kensington Market. This area is full of colorful characters, artisan shops, and limited parking. We found a place to park, and it's only a short walk to Kensington Market. I'm really hoping that the van is safe here. Yeah, fingers crossed. We'll be back in like an hour. 
tomorrow's my birthday, so we're going to pick up some snacks to have on the road because we're driving up north to spend a few nights in a forest. Ooh, and I know the perfect spot to find some wood-fired bagels and specialty drinks. Are you going to get something? Yeah, this place is cool. I don't know. It must be new since I've been here, which has been years. Um, they have like all these specialty drinks. They have a pistachio matcha latte, iced. I think I'm going to go for that. What are you eating? Honey. A honey stick? And who made that honey stick? Me. Mm. I find that there's a lot of uniqueness here in Kensington Market, which is why I love coming here. Here you go. What's that? Oh, that is delicious. Good? Mm -mm. Okay. As long as it's good. There's always a moment of truth returning back to our vehicle to see if we got a parking ticket. And no ticket! Yes! Oh, baby! That's good. Want some? Well, that looks like an everything. Yep. What is this, rosemary? Yeah. Oh, my. I can. <gasps> that was when we go up. Take a bite of that bagel, Kai. After Kensington Market, we're heading to Tommy Thompson Park to scope out a potential parking spot for the night. It's free to park here, and it has a sweet view of the Toronto skyline. We are definitely coming back here tonight. How's it driving in the city? It's actually super easy. It's like no different than when we had our truck and we were driving in the city. It's nice. This is something super fun about van life, okay? In the van. Where are we gonna go for dinner tonight? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um, just uh, right over here to this restaurant. You know when you'd eat so much, you're just like in a food coma, and you just wanna like go to your bed and sleep? Well, I mean, it's possible. <laughs> Don't have to go very far to do that. Take a long way home from that. Well, that is true. Would you like to see my dog? Yeah. Ooh, that looks so yummy. Is it spicy or no? Okay, time to put away our leftovers. It's a pretty far commute. <laughs> that is so right convenient. Right into our fridge. It's still hot. <laughs> We're impressed with just how easily this van is fitting into the big city. Much easier than our 31-foot Airstream. Now it's time to turn in for the night, so we're headed back to Tommy Thompson Park. Okay, I set the mic so it picks me up from behind so you guys can hear me talk from behind the camera. So this is where we parked, and just over here, Toronto skyline. How incredible. Night two sleeping arrangements was definitely an improvement using the pop-up. I slept above while Kristen and Kai slept below, and this was my view from the window. Good morning. Good morning, birthday boy. Thank Good you. Morning, birthday boy. You want to know something really funny? So Sia just put an Instagram post for his birthday on Instagram saying, I'm 38 today, but he's not. He's 37. Oh! <laughs> you thought you were 38? Uh, yeah, I messed up. I must have slipped that. I, I think I'm because I was thinking like, oh, I'm 37, turning 37, turning 30. And then today was my birthday. So I'm like, oh, I added a year. Wow, that's funny. You're, you're, you're younger though, that's a good thing. Yeah, I just lost a year. Stay tuned for our next video, where we start our drive up to Kawartha Lakes, a few hours north of Toronto. Kristen drives the van for the first time, and we find a pretty sweet spot to set up camp. All coming up in our next video. Special thanks to Sony for partnering with us on this video. If you want to learn more about the ECM M1, check out our link below. Never gonna be your ride or die. Alright!